Welcome back to another episode of Plant Based Ads. I'm Joey. And I'm Tim. I don't know if you guys know this, but I just turned 55 a couple weeks ago. But I am feeling so good. My posture has never been better. Oh, you kids. <laughs> we, I know. Uh, yeah, so it was not a few weeks ago. It was like well, last we, week. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was, was it last like, week? Yeah, I know, it, was. So it was like okay. last week. Yeah, so it's a big year. It's a big year of change for us. We have a lot going on between your birthday, my milestone birthday, Lex's graduation, my mom's birthday. Our milestone like there's so much happening this year everyone, I'm excited. everyone's so young right <laughs> like anymore everyone's so young we'd like to first thank our uh, patreon and paypal uh financial supporters yes. without them we couldn't do the show uh if you've ever seen the show and thought how can i help how can i be part of this that's how you can help uh you can help us out on patreon and paypal there's a link below on how you can get started yeah. and they get the videos like up to 48 hours early and there's also some uh content just for them that yeah. we have but i also like that they can comment and they're one of the first ones or they're definitely getting answered or responded to correct? yeah because they they get the videos early two days early so they're able to comment before anyone's able to see it yeah. right yes yeah i want to ask you to please like and subscribe uh, to join the channel uh the channel is definitely growing and we could uh definitely use your support so there's a link below um so one of the things i wanted to talk about is uh chronometer real fast right okay, okay. we're going to talk uh, about macros of this meal at the end and all that but if you didn't already know this, when you make one of my recipes on Chronometer, you don't have to type in the recipe. If you watch like some of the other channels, they're like, here's my Chronometer, and that's all, and what are you supposed to do? Type in 15 ingredients? Like, that's what, I mean, bless their heart for giving us the information, but yeah. that's of no help if you're making the meal. So, if you're a paid member on Chronometer, you can just send me a friend request, and then when you go into add a food, you do, you know, custom food, type in my name, Joey Troxel, and up will come all of my recipes. If you've made one, Click on it and it just fills in for you. Yeah, right? that is so helpful. It is. It's and such if, a time saver. If you're not a paid member, you don't have to buy it. You can email me at uh, plantbasedads at gmail.com and say, hey, here's my chronometer email address. I'm not a paid member. Can you add me as a friend, right? I can add anyone. Uh, and then I'll do that. And then you can, like, you know, be friends with me and share my macros without having to be a, yeah. a paid member. So, right? so two different ways. I two love it. Ways. I love it. Today's recipe. Do you know what we're making? Uh, today's recipe is uh, a meatless protein loaf. Now, you know, we have a lentil loaf recipe, and I love the lentil loaf recipe, but it's a lentil loaf. It's full of lentils. And uh, the meatless loaf is more like a traditional meat loaf, like your mom would make, like our moms would make, right? Um, based upon, you know, the the meatless uh, protein crumbles, like the pea crumbles, that they make the crumbles out of pea, uh, pea protein. So that's, it's definitely, this, I throw lentils in it, just to kind of lentil it up a little bit, but it is a true like meatloaf without the meat. Yeah, this is awesome. Cause a couple weeks ago I said, Joey, I need, I need simple, like uh, that loaf. You like, are not simple. <laughs> this is a, one of those one pot meals. You cut your slice, you know your macros, yeah. and it's loaded with fiber. Uh, we came up with a, with an idea for the gravy versus a, a tomato sugar base. So yeah. that is good. That's we, why I love this as well. We've made this a few ways. We've made it with a barbecue dressing on it or or, or topping. We've made it with our own like ketchup uh, mustard one, which is really good. In the end, to me, the one that works best with it is the one we're gonna show you today, the McDougal gravy. Exactly. I, I love the McDougal gravy, the golden gravy. I think it's perfect. Yep. Uh, and it's it's like our Thanksgiving gravy, right? And that just works on uh, best on top. A lot of times people will lay, in, lay, lay a topping on a meatloaf and cook it. I feel like even if we do that, I still need a topping on it, right? Yeah. Like I feel like it gives me nothing. So the way we're showing you today is kind of how we eat it. Uh, and I'm really excited to show you this. So you ready to do yeah, it? Same here. All okay. right, let's do it. Our high protein meatless loaf comes in at 381 calories with 41.9 grams of protein and 6.8 grams of total fat. And that's without the gravy, the gravy is optional. We're gonna start off our meatless protein loaf by making a flax egg. Here I'm using 30 grams of flaxseed meal and one half a cup of vegetable broth. And I'm gonna whisk that around a bit to get that all combined. It's gonna be liquidy at first, but that's okay. And that should be enough. And I'm just gonna set this aside to let it do its thing. To saute the vegetables, we're gonna use a stock pot, and I'm starting with the Avalon series from Dahlstrong. These are five ply copper core pots. This is my three quart sauce pot, and there's a link below this video on how you can get your own Dahlstrong pots. I'm gonna dump in a little bit of the broth right there and set the heat to medium. Once the water starts steaming, we can add in our onions. I'm adding in 100 grams of yellow onion. 
And I'm gonna thread that around a little bit so we can kind of saute evenly. And you can see here the onions are starting to get translucent. Time to move on. Next I'm adding 100 grams of carrots, diced up. And 100 grams of celery, also diced up. And I'm gonna stir that in, give it a little mixy mixy and give it some space there to saute. We'll let that cook for about two or three minutes and we'll just keep moving it around as we need to to make sure it sautés. I'm just gonna continue to mix these around. They're diced up so they're really small so they should cook really fast. All right, that's looking pretty good right there. Next, I'm gonna add in three garlic cloves, all diced or minced, whatever you wanna call it. And I'm just gonna combine all that. And then I'm also adding a, a little four ounce jar of pimentos. I've drained all the liquid out of them. I normally don't do that, but in this recipe, I am taking the liquid out. All right, those pimentos were supposed to be diced and I bought the sliced ones, so I'm just going through and cutting them up because it's a loaf, so everything has to be diced. So make sure you get diced pimentos, not sliced. All right, at this point, everything's combined, so we're gonna shut off the heat and give it a few minutes to cool down, then we're gonna dump in the rest of the ingredients. All right, I've got it off the heat. Now I'm gonna add the rest of the ingredients. I'm adding 112 grams of these pea-based meatless crumbles. We're using this brand right here. One tablespoon of, I'm using uh, cocoa aminos. You can use soy sauce, whatever you have. I'm also tossing in one half a cup of veggie broth. This is just better than bouillon. I'm gonna mix this up at this point to get the crumbles and the veggie broth combined here, and then I'll throw in the rest of the ingredients. All right, for my spices, I've got two teaspoons of thyme, an eighth of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, an eighth of a teaspoon of black pepper, a quarter teaspoon of fennel seeds, a tablespoon of Costco no salt seasoning, and a teaspoon of Italian seasoning. So I'm just gonna dump all that in there and make sure I get it all in. Move that around. That's all the love right there. All right, give those spices a chance to mix with the other ingredients and meatless crumbles will absorb all that. All right, so at this point, I just want the crumbles to absorb all the liquid so, so they get uh, nice and moist. And then I'm gonna add a quarter of a cup of hot tea water. I just wanna make sure there's enough liquid for the crumbles to, you know, to get soft. I'm also adding in a third of a cup of cooked red lentils. So it was a third of a cup of dry lentils and one cup of water, and I just cooked that on the stove. But I started off with uh, one third of a cup of dry lentils, not a whole cup of uh, lentils. So that one third of a cup of dry lentils should make a whole cup of lentils at the end because it's it makes three times of whatever you put in. Now I'm gonna add our flax egg mixture. You can see it's kind of like really become this gelatinous uh, little thing. And that's gonna be our, uh, our adhesive to hold all this together. So I'm gonna mix that in there. I'm just gonna kind of fold it so it covers everything. And I'm just gonna keep moving it around and and this will take the place of uh, an egg in a regular loaf that you would normally put in. So the flax egg will do that for us, which is perfect. I've also got about 40 grams of uh, chickpea flour that I'm gonna put in here. This is a combination of chickpea and fava flour. Again, same thing, it's gonna kinda help create uh, a binding for all this stuff. Now at this point, uh, this whole thing is gluten-free because we have not used anything wheat in here, and it's looking good. This is definitely a loaf consistency. Now I'm adding this, you don't have to, if you're gluten-free, skip this step, but I'm adding in two slices of the uh, protein bread that we use, and I've got it all kind of diced up. My mom used to throw breadcrumbs in uh, her loaf, her meatloaf when she was making them when I was younger, and I always thought that was really awesome when I tasted it, so the bread's gonna help hold it all together because it'll absorb moisture also, and uh, it'll give us more protein, which is really what we want out of this. We're trying to get this to be a decent amount of protein for a meal. So this is just for extra protein. That's really why we're doing this. If you're gluten-free or if you don't need the extra protein, then leave out the protein bread. This is looking really nice. This is gonna be really, really simple to, to make a loaf out of. Now I've got a loaf pan here, and I'm gonna use some parchment paper because I don't wanna spray this thing. So uh, I crumbled up the parchment paper, if you can see that, just so it's easier to work with. And I'm gonna fit it to the pan here. And this, this mix is going to fill up the entire pan. So we wanna make sure that you get it all the way to the top and around the edges here. All right, I think we're ready right there. And I'm just gonna spoon this stuff in here and I'll start pressing it down once I get enough of it in. Yeah, it looks really, really good. 
And as I go, I'm just gonna kind of fit it into the corners and make sure I have room for everything because it's gonna take this whole pot to get this in here. This whole recipe becomes four servings. So a quarter of this loaf, which is a huge size to, to eat, uh, is the one serving of this meal. So for the macros that I'm gonna give you at the end, it's a quarter of this loaf pan. All right, so now I'm just gonna go through and use my hands and really push this down. I want it to be nice and flat. So I want it to look just like a loaf. Oh man, this looks fantastic. All right. Now when you make this, it does come right out, but you gotta let it cool first. All right, how good does that look, huh? I'm gonna put this in the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for one hour, and we'll check on it then. All right, look how great that looks. You can see it's all brown on the top. This loaf looks amazing. Gosh, it smells so good. I've let this cool for a while, so it's ready to come out. I'm just gonna move this over here and grab it by the, the paper here and lift it out. It should come right out. Let's hope for the best here. And there we go, perfect, just like that. And notice it did not stick to the paper around it, around it, which is just amazing. This is perfect. All right, let's start showing you how to portion this out. Now, this whole thing makes four servings. So you wanna cut it right down the middle first. The short way, of course. And then you wanna cut it evenly here and here. I've got just the perfect Doll Strong knife for this. This is my Doll Strong vegetable knife from the Gladiator series. It's a beauty, and when I need a serrated edge, that's what I use. All right, so I'm just gonna cut this right here. You can see it cuts right through, and I'm gonna make one more cut right here. All right. Now, each one of these is a serving, so I'm gonna plate this up and show you how I serve. All right, so I'm gonna take one nice big portion of this loaf. You could put it on its, oh, look how good that looks. Holy smoke, do you see all that? Man. Uh, you could put it on its side, I'm gonna put it right here. And then I'm gonna serve it with one cup of broccoli. This is just uh, frozen broccoli from Costco that I steamed in the microwave. And I'm gonna lay that on the side right there. And I'm gonna serve it with some of that McDougal gravy. This is the golden gravy from the Starch Solution book. And I'm just gonna pour it over here. Oh man, look how good that looks. Holy smoke. And for my broccoli, I like to put a little of this chopped onion on here. So it's just kind of dried out flaky onion. And I just kind of throw it on top of here, on top of the broccoli. Gives me that kind of onion taste. And then I throw some garlic salt on there too, cause I mean, you only live once, right? I'll just sprinkle some of that on there, maybe on top of here, and there you go. I mean, you can't have too much garlic salt. And there you have it, an amazing high protein meatless loaf. Oh man, this is a big dinner right here. And that piece of loaf is huge. I can't wait to dig into this. Let's eat. All right, and it was that easy. So, uh, I don't know, it looks good to me. I'm right? hungry. Let's show them what we have here. All right, and you can see right here, look how great that looks. Holy smoke. That gravy is like everything on this meatloaf. And look how thick that thing is. That's a huge chunk of meatloaf. And the broccoli, just uh, the standard uh, broccoli recipe with the with the spices on it, it's ready to go. All right, let's start eating this. Uh, we've been eating this all week, so we know it's delicious. One of the things about this is when we show you the macros at the end, it includes the broccoli, right? The broccoli gives you five grams of protein. Did you know oh, that? I didn't know that. Yeah. Okay. Oh man. Right. Well, broccoli is such an easy side to make. Mm -hmm. All right, going into this, super excited that um, it's, right. it's protein packed, oil free. This meal is like 40 something grams of protein. Nice, that's exactly what we want. Holy smoke. That's why we're sharing this. And it's a filling meal. So see how the McDougal gravy really works on this? Everyone has like a barbecue sauce, a meatloaf or meatless loaf in this case. I don't think that's necessary, right? But you can totally do your own sauce. Sure. Yeah, well, I think for us just, I think I like this because there isn't the sugar that the yeah. other things have. Um, and I seem to double what I usually, yeah. what, is, what is estimated, right? Two, two tablespoons? No, I mean, I'm in four. Like, but when you're making it, after after the hour's up, you can put on like a barbecue ketchup mustard sauce on it and put it in for 10 more minutes and let that cook on it. Yeah. Right? So you can make this your own. Yeah. I just feel like if we do that, we still need a topping on top of it, right? Because it's just not enough. Oh, man. Yeah, it's delicious. What I like about this, too, is that it's loaded with different types of protein, fiber, 
celery carrots, like yeah. garlic. This is, I love this. Then it's the 35 grams of protein from, or the 37 grams of protein, whatever it is, from the loaf, and then there's another five from the broccoli, right? Right. So, I mean, I, I love that the broccoli contributes to the protein. Yeah. You can have without the broccoli, in the recipe, it show, it'll show four cups of broccoli, I'll go over that, but that's because there's it four, four servings, yeah. right? The cup. So really, it's a quarter of the meatloaf and one cup of broccoli. Yeah, and for those that you don't know, the bags of uh, broccoli from Costco just make life so much easier. Um, you've tossed some onion, some garlic, salt, like garlic just salt. to put some flavor a little bit. Yeah. Um, and you can sprinkle some sriracha on the broccoli as well. To make and normally we do do that too. Let's talk about the macros. Well, yes. before we even do that, one of the things I wanted to talk about is we should talk about plantbasedads.net, the website. Yes, that's the blog where the recipes are. Yeah, yeah, you don't need to stop the video, write anything down. Go to plantbasedads.net, go to this recipe, and if it's one of the high protein recipes, right, then there's a PDF for you to print out. It'll, it'll show the recipe. There's none of that, oh, let me start when I was a child and blah, blah, blah. It's just the recipe. No, that's it. Just right there. It's just the recipe, right? Now it's short on pictures or. Yeah, there's a picture, right? And the recipe. You well, know? We've already done that in the video. Yeah, I'm sorry. If you're looking for a whole story of my life and my dog, it's just not there, right? All right so, so PDF, recipe. It, in the middle of the recipe, after you sh show all the ingredients in the bottom, it'll say, print the PDF right here. Okay. And off you know, will print to your printer uh, a PDF of the recipe. Now the recipe will be there with everything on it. On the back, right, is a breakdown of everything. So let me show you what's on the back of here. All right, if you look here, you can see that on the very top left, it says Joey Troxel Protein Meatlo Meatless Loaf. Why does it say that? Because if you and I are friends on uh, Chronometer, then that's what you're typing in to uh to bring up the macros so if you've printed this recipe and you've made it and you want to enter in a chronometer and we're friends you're just going to go to uh add food custom and type in joey troxel up will come my recipes grab this one hit okay and it's going to add it to your diary right with these macros that's why it's called that and my name is there because you know it if you if you're adding people's recipes i mean if you put a meatloaf up will come Hundreds of meatloafs, right? No. But if you put in Joey Troxel meatloaf or Joey Troxel, up will come mine, right? So I just, I, that's why I name it with my name. So on the top left of every one of these, uh, of every one of these pages that you print, on the back, right? The recipe will be in the front. If it's a protein recipe, on the back will be the macros. The top left will show the name of the recipe. Then as you go down, you'll see a list of every single ingredient. You're, some of you are like, uh, I don't know what, what grams are. I, I don't, we don't do cups, we don't do ounces. Great, if you look at the, the ingredients, you see that the tamari sauce, the, like the tamari sauce says one tablespoon, right? And if you look all the way to the right, it says 18 grams. Well, there you go. If you're in the US, US you don't know anything about grams, one tablespoon. If you're, in the, if you're outside of the US and you're, you know, you're, you're using grams logic, then 18 grams or whatever it says. So it kind of breaks it up for you right there. It always shows the grams. So whatever I say here, on the on the the video sometimes i i get the wrong information but these recipes show exactly how i got the numbers and chronometer all right so they are always correct and then if you look on the uh the bottom it shows four cups of broccoli that's because like we talk about it tells you right on the bottom servings four per recipe it tells you right on this thing that you, this makes four servings so a lot of people will say well how many servings does it make it's right there just so you know now i'll always answer hey it makes four servings but just so you know it's there then that's the ingredients right then if you go to uh just under that the macros are there the macros show you four things it shows you the number of calories in this case it's 381 calories per serving not for the whole recipe per serving right uh and it says serving size one serving all right so per serving 381. it also shows that it's a total fat of 6.8 grams which is fairly low uh, if you're interested in carbohydrates or salt the information is there the carbohydrates is 41.7 and now the salt is 682.6 if that's high for you then don't use broth use water right that's where the salt yeah. is coming from because yeah. i i didn't add any salt to the recipe right it's just from the broth right and the protein is 41.9. So 42 grams of protein uh, from this recipe, five of it coming from the broccoli, Perfect. right? So there's all the information right there. That's how you use this information. That's how you read it. Uh, and if you're sharing with me, that's what you're gonna get in there, right? Yeah, I think you've done so much for everyone to be successful. Um, if this is what you want, so. I would watch some of my favorite YouTubers, most of them bodybuilders, and they would tell me, oh, here's the numbers from Chronometer with and i'd be like well i want to make this how much how many you know 
teaspoons did you use of this? How? Well, I've used one medjool day and it's the same size as you. Like, it, I would have so many questions, right? And I would just be like, if I ever do this, I'm sharing my information with everyone. Because trying to follow someone and what they do and not having this information can get very stressful, don't you think? I think so, yeah. All right, so that's- On top of everything else, lifestyle changes. Yeah, I mean, you're trying to make changes. You want it to be as easy as possible. And that's something I do for you. The website's free, like it's all free. Um, we've got nothing to sell you yet. I wish we did, but we don't. So all of this is just, and, and that's another thing. Like, I'm not telling you how to eat or whatever. I'm just showing you what I'm doing. If you want to do it, here's how I'm doing it. If you don't, then don't do it, right? But I'm not, we're not nutritionists. Yeah, at so. our age, I mean, I can tell you that I've never felt better. I mean, we're exercising as well. Like, I'm yeah, loving this. You can so. follow us or not, it, you know, it's up to you. But this this is what we're doing. All right, so uh, the one last thing I want to talk about is I do have my own, we do have our own vlog channel. Right now it's just me, Joey Troxel, that's what it's called. Uh, at some point it'll be like Troxel Boys or something. But, uh, or something very like bougie, yeah. right? Uh, but right now it's just Joey Troxel. And I put updates about how I'm doing with my weight and numbers and all of that on that channel. Uh, I have a scan I'm probably gonna do this week. I think I'm doing a scan we both are. On, on Thursday so we can see the difference. But the last few scans are up there. So check that out. There's a link to it right here. Uh, and that video shows you, you know, all the latest information about that. That's our video for today, right? An amazing meatless protein loaf. I wanna call it meatloaf, but it's no meat in it. So a meatless loaf, please. Hit that like button, show us some love, click on the subscribe button, click that bell, and you get notified every time we have a new video, usually every Tuesday. Leave a comment below. Uh, are you doing this with us? Uh, have you learned anything from these recipes? Do you have any you want to share? Let me know what you're eating. Like, I might make that. I think the last thing we need to share is just that we have that ongoing link for Earth Chip. Yes, we're ambassadors for Earth Chip, right? Yep. So 10% off. That's not just a one time, but it's every time you order. Every time. Just use that link and get it. Yeah. So. And if you uh, if you spend over $45, you get free shipping. Oh, yeah, there are, as well. There yeah. are protein companies where you only get it the first time, right? Yeah. That's, what we've heard. That's why we say that. So. <laughs> All right. All we'll right. see you guys next time. Appreciate it. Bye-bye.